I'm an amateur musician, amateur uh, comedian. So I'm going to give you some amateur comedy here tonight at uh, Alcon. You guys having fun here at Alcon so far? Um, this is actually my third uh, my third year here at Alcon. And, uh, it's great because you can kind of be among like nerds among nerds, which is good for us nerds. The thing you have to worry about when you're around nerds is uh, spoilers. Because, because nerds, when they're around other nerds, they assume that we all know everything about every franchise that we're interested in. It's all on, yeah. So, uh, two years, it was my first year here, two years ago, and uh, I just started watching Star Trek, The Next Generation. How old is he going to be before the concept of him going would take effect? So he could be way old, and he does have a time travel. You need more clothes. Oh, Okay. 
I'm like the robots on iMud. I cannot give you the sheets and read them to the illogical, illogical. Everything I say is a lie. <laughs> I'll show you how, how a uh, voiceover actor tap dances, ready? <laughs> Sorry, trying to get over the floor. There you go, thank you, thank you. Maybe I'll do the impression that I did at, uh, at uh, MTAC last year that got me in so much trouble. Yes. All right. My first impression, a hamster waking up. Collected assemblage, a turtle. Uh, it's time to do the more difficult impersonations. You know, like Gene Simmons of the Rock Band Kiss. Yeah, there you go, right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's Gene Simmons of the Rock Band Kiss. If you want to know how they do Gene Simmons, it's easy. You take Frank Sinatra and Neil Diamond and he's showing them together. And then you get Gene Simmons. I've actually done his voice where his agent, his agent said, that's really good, you know that Gene's not from New York. And I said, that's really good because I wasn't doing New York. Okay. Uh, we have, to, we are collecting at the moment all of our contestants. They are behind you, there's no need to turn around. But please, so they know that you're applauding for them, raise your hands in the air. Oh, sorry. See that contestant put your hand, that is all for you. Really, some really fine costuming work, some really great characters that you created, some really brave people. Um, Look, there's a reason I get into a booth and don't get on stage anymore. It takes a lot of guts to get up on stage. These guys all did a very nice job. Alrighty, so... Well, Mr. J. Lee Mudd, are you here, sir? Is J. Lee in the room here? Yeah. J. Lee, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Third place in the steampunk category. Please, a round of applause for all of our winners as they come on. J. Lee Mudd! There you are. <laughs> A fine achievement, sir. <laughs> Second place, C Punk. Uh, I, I thought you guys were awesome. Ryan, Kyle, Anna McKinley, the Society for Dating and Non Proliferation, the C Punk Ghostbusters. Because as much as I like these guys, um, I, I, I gotta give it up to the Amish people and their, uh, <laughs> and their fireplace. First place, Steve Pond, Steve and Deb Lipton! <laughs> I think they were very good, said the fire. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh, they're finding Waldo. <laughs> One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Steve and Deb Liptak, our first place Steve Punk prize winner. Very nicely done. 
Thank you very much. Thanks. I like, I, I like the top of the story. Let's give a round of applause one more time. Thank you. Sci-fi, third place. Amaya from Magdal Magdalena from Top Cow Comics. Amaya, are you back here yet? Are you here? applaud you're gonna have to see mine. <laughs> Let's hear from Maya. Great job. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh wow. Wow. This is this is gonna create a big family issue. Second prize sci-fi Jason Waldrop Jr. as Anakin Skywalker. <laughs>
as they say in France, Trey Bean. <laughs> Glinda, a flying monkey, Elphaba, and Dorothy herself, the Rudolph the Rose. That's you, Glinda, come on! Get in your bubble and come on up here. Silver slippers, not ruby. <laughs> nice. Second place fantasy. That would be the Celtic Sea Raider. Raider, not Raider. It's Raider. The Celtic Sea Raider. Ah! Lovely. Daniel McClinton Sawyers. Very nice and <laughs> Careful of stabbing with his face. Very nice. One more round of applause for Daniel. <laughs> Fantasy number one. <laughs> really? I gotta say it? Yes. Come on, brother, sister. It's all yours. Brooks Powers. You wanna talk about fantasy sugar here, Tom? Come on, right up, brother lady! Accept your prize! Senior Ita! Let's give it up for Brooks one more time! Come on, he's wearing one flag, one heel! play Chicago and I played Mary Sunshine and I had one of my heels all summer long. It's a bear. <laughs> Fortunately, I spent the three months before that playing Clinger and MASH, so I was really good in my heels. <laughs> Green in third place, Jennifer McDaniel, Poison
is for the children. Right off, I first. That's okay. Let's give it up for him, guys. Come on. 